Hey everybody, Nightgamer here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing what my keyboard can do. My new keyboard that I bought yesterday. Um, all the cool lighting effects it can do and stuff. So, yeah, let's right, get it. First, let's open the software. And go to Chroma. Now, this is what I currently have it. I have it set to Wave. Down here, yeah. I have it set to Wave. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add an effect. I'm gonna do fire, because fire is a good one. Now I'm gonna delete wave, click on this paint bucket up here, click this, and click save. And now what it's gonna do is it's gonna change to cool fire effect. It's really nice. All right, so the next one I'm doing is called starlight. It's there. Now, um, with Starlight, it's actually a good one, too. All of these are good. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Fire, click this trash can here, delete effect. Now I'm going to click the paint bucket up here. Do that. Click on the paint bucket. And click Save. So now what it's going to do, it's the fire effect's going to disappear, and then you get this really cool starlight effect like it's randomly each key is randomly giving off an, a different color it's really cool this isn't my favorite one but uh, but my favorite one's gonna come later so yeah keep watching this video please right, don't click so off. the next one i'm going to do is probably the most boring one on this list is called static and static is basically it's just like on a normal backlit keyboard like it's just one color no effect or anything so just gonna add static. So let me get statics up there. Um, I'm going to delete starlight. Click up the trash can here, delete effect. And now just click your paint bucket. But this time you select what color you want. So I'm just gonna select red because I like that color. Click red, click on that with the paint bucket. Now save and Whole keyboard's just gonna turn red. So yeah, it matches my PC. It's nice. Alright, so this one is called Reactive. So I'm just going to click Reactive. You know, just do everything. And click Paint Bucket. And yeah, just click on that, and you can choose the color. Again, I'm gonna set it to red. Um, because I like that color. Click save, and now, oh wait, I forgot, <laughs> I need to click save with the actual color red, so now it will turn red, and it's a nice effect, this is also a good one, but I don't like it that much, so, because, because when you're not using your keyboard, it won't look good. Alright, so this next one is called Spectrum Cycling. And I like this one because it just basically, like, in the name it says, it's going to cycle through all the colors. So, so this one you don't really choose the color unless you really want to. But, but it's nice. So, it starts with this. Then it cycles to another color another until it's like reached all the colors and after it's done that it will just repeat the cycle over and over again you can actually choose how fast you want it so that's cool um so that was the spectrum right. cycle. this next one is called breathing and i don't really know how to explain this one but when you actually see it it's pretty self-explanatory so i'm going to add breathing no So now it's going to have a cool breathing effect. And, oh yeah, I forgot to mention you can choose the color and stuff. Or or you could just make it random. I'll make it random. So yeah. 
yeah, so it just cycles through all the colors. The last one is the final one, and it is my favorite. This one is called Ripple. So what Ripple is, is, is when you touch it, when you touch one key, a bunch of other keys light up. So, um, it's really cool when you see it. <laughs> um, you can set the speed and everything. Alright. So now when I touch this, it, it's, it looks really cool. You can set the colors you want it. Right now I'm just doing it to the default. So that was it for this video, um, I hope this um, helps you if you recently bought a Razer keyboard and you want to know all the stuff it can do. Um, I'll put the name of the keyboard in the description, but if you don't actually see this part of the video, it is called um, the Razer Black Widow version 2. Anyway, bye.